Hi there, welcome back to Steam Nation. Steam is used around the world in numerous industrial settings for manufacturing, heating, sterilization, and propulsion. The capabilities of steam seem endless. Today we're looking at yet another key player in the production of steam, the water tube boiler. The water tube boiler is the equipment relied on for most large capacity steam production needs. These units of various designs with their enormous capacity ranges can produce steam at pressures over several thousand PSI and capacities as high as a million pounds of steam per hour. Last week we saw how the fire or heat with the fire tube boiler is directed through the tubes surrounded by the water wall. The water tube principle is the exact opposite, where water is now directed through the tubes and surrounded by the combustion heat. The design of the water tube boiler requires less volume of water, which in turn brings the boiler up to temperature faster, resulting in much quicker recovery times. Plants that see erratic or drastic changes in their steam demands benefit from this rapid recovery and depend on these units for seamless operation. These boilers will oftentimes have much larger upfront cost. However, due to their efficiency ratings, generally are a lower cost to operate over time. The design and size of the water tubes do present a bit more complexities with cleaning and other maintenance procedures as compared to the fire tube's compact design. A retubing procedure of these type boilers is practically a complete disassembly. With industrial and manufacturing demands worldwide for high pressure steam, the water tube boiler towers over other designs in size and performance. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos from Steam Nation.